Hi, good morning. Welcome to lovely Sheko Beach. Uh, I wanted to bring you through uh, the quick 15 minute routine that I started for myself and I thought maybe you would want to do the same for yourself at home. Pilates uh, talks a lot about breathing and right now when we're dealing with a pandemic that is affecting you know, our respiratory health, we look at Pilates and we look at the breathing and what Joseph Pilates talked about. And when we do moves like the 100 and we're really vigorous breath, five in, five out, the point of that type of breathing is to clear all of the air out of your lungs and to keep your lung capacity high and just to promote uh, really good respiratory health. So let's get started. We're gonna start with roll-ups. So you're gonna lay down flat on your back. The Pilates breathing, you're breathing through into your ribs. So you should see your chest move close to your head, but your stomach should not be moving. So inhale and exhale. Pulling the belly button even closer to the vertebrae on the exhale. So inhale through the ribs. And exhale. One more time. Watch my hands. My hands and my ribs are moving. My hands and my belly are not. Alright. Once I have the breathing set and my pelvic floor muscle pulled up and in, all of my lower abs and my upper abs stacked on top of that. Imagine that you have a string from your belly button to your vertebra and that's keeping it very close. So always uh, fighting against that string, all right? So arms overhead, you're gonna inhale, lengthen through the tip of the head. And as you exhale, the head, neck, and shoulders peel off the mat, rolling through the vertebra, keeping the spine curved and the belly hollowed out. It should feel like there's a basketball right here that you're trying to move your body over. Keeping your torso away from your thighs. Come back up to straight back. Micro hinge and roll down. Really curving the spine, letting each vertebra hit one at a time. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, roll up. Use the breath to help you move. Slow and controlled movements. Straight spine, micro hinge, and curl and roll down. That's two. We're going to do three more, so at your own pace. And here's our last one. Okay, from here we're gonna go straight into our hundreds. So float the arms down by the side. And since I'm on the beach, just need to make sure that I have a flat surface to lay on. So in hundreds, we're crunched up. We're pulsing vigorously with the arms. The arms are engaged, so it should feel like you're trying to touch the other side of the room with your fingertips. So go ahead and curl down, and we'll start with the legs in tabletop position. Abs are engaged. Arms are floating next to the side. Inhale, lengthen through the head. And exhale, curl up. Looking straight through the legs. And start your pumping now.
relax it down. That was 100, I counted. Curl the knees into the chest. Roll your head to the right and over to the left. And back to the middle. I'm gonna flip over and onto all fours now. Our quadruped series. So aligning the arms right under the shoulders, knees right under hips, and you want to have a neutral spine here. So if I had a rod on the back of me, the back of my head, my shoulders, and my tailbone would be touching that rod and it would be a straight line, all right? So from here, Gonna drag the arm, the right arm out to brush the fingertips of the right arm out to the edge of the mat and then lengthen up. Remember to engage all the muscles in the arm to make that movement. The abs are engaged, pulled away from the mat, float the arm back down and bring it back under the shoulder. Same thing on the left, brush the fingertip out to the edge and then lengthen up more about length than it is height. Bring it back down. Do the same with our legs. Brush that toe and then lengthen up. And bring it back down. Keeping the belly button close to the spine. Same thing with the left. And up. Really engaging the whole leg, the fingertip or the toe are trying to touch the other side of the room, bring it back down, back under the hip. Now we're going to do some opposites. So let's start with the right arm, left leg. So get your abs set, get your neutral spine ready to go. We don't want to see this. Okay, so make sure you're staying neutral, abs are engaged, brush the toes and the fingertips out to the side of the mat, lengthen up, and come back down and up and come back down and up back down four down and five now hold it here we're gonna bring it out to the side so that left arm is getting some work here really engaging through the fingertips and the toes out to the side for one your eye gaze should be just at the edge of your mat for two. And three, your neck is comfortable, it's not craned up. And four, abs are engaged. And five, bring everything back down and back under the shoulder and hip. Now for the left arm and right leg, lengthen out and up and down. And two, and three, four, last one, five, hold it up here, and out to the side for one, remember those abs, pull them in, for two, three, four, and five. Bring everything back to the center, bring it down, give yourself a nice child's pose, quick little break. Okay, we're going to flip back around, so I tried to make this kind of interesting to wake you up in the morning, so a little bit of back and forth between certain things. So we're going to do our rollover. So lay down on your back. To do that, reach behind the, the knees. Elbows are out. Start to curl down like we did before in our roll up. Okay, and come on down. Go ahead and rest the legs on the mat. And your hands, thank you Lily. Your hands are gonna be next to your sides. And I want you to float the legs up, making sure those abs are engaged, helping support the movement that you're going to do. And 
And on the inhale, you're gonna lift your pelvis up and bring the legs over the head. Flex the toes, spread the legs, and come on down on the exhale. Scoop the legs down on the inhale, bring them together, maintaining neutral spine. Come on up, inhale, and do the move again. Split, slow and controlled down. Scoop it down just as far as you can go. You know you've gone too far if you start to get a gap right here. So don't go so far that your lower back is pulling up. Put them together. Let's do it for three. Hollowing out the belly, rolling each vertebra down one at a time. one this way. So when you get to the bottom, spread the legs out again. Come on up. Exhale. Put them together and back down. Slow and controlled. Using the arms, using the abs and the breath through the movement. Inhale, circle. And exhale, whoops, sorry, keep them split. Exhale, go over. Back together. And exhale down. That's two. And three. This is our last one here. And five, bring the legs together. Slowly roll the torso down. Feet to the mat. And we're gonna roll over onto our back. Bringing the arms to the side with the palms up, arms close to the body, head is hovering just above the mat. Going to inhale, lengthen through the tip of the head and curl up. The arms float up off the mat. You feel this in your lower back. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Exhale it down. Inhale, come back up really trying to get those fingertips to touch the other side of the room, engaging the legs, and exhale down. Inhale back up, and exhale down. And inhale back up, exhale down. And inhale back up, stay here. Bring the arms closer to the body and pump up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, and 1. Exhale it all down. Good. All right. And we'll do a little bit of swan. So hands are under the shoulders. Eye gaze is down to the mat, legs are engaged, belly button is away from the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the tip of the head, and exhale, curl up. When you get here, if this is available to you, straighten the elbows and come up. You can move the hands in a little bit. Come up till just the bottom of your thighs is on the mat. And exhale it all down, elbows close to the body, Legs and abs engaged. Inhale it back up. And exhale it down. And inhale up. 
And this one we can start to dive a little bit. So if you're brave, if you're feeling good, if your abs are engaged, go ahead and remove the hands. Let yourself go down and then come back up. I'll show you what I mean. Inhale down, exhale up. Really keeping a curve in the body. Imagine that you're a banana. And one more. Push back to a child's pose. Really get a nice stretch here. Come to all fours and then to standing position. Folding over. Abs are engaged, belly button is hollowed out. Inhale it up. And exhale, roll back down. Curling over that basketball, down to your range of comfort. Inhale it back up. Slow and controlled, stacking each vertebra onto the other. Inhale the arms back. And exhale. Give yourself a hug for a job well done. Thanks for joining me.